last year, 3D printing industry introduced the 3D printed canal house in Amsterdam, which is projected to be the first 3D printed house. At that point in time, the architects from Dutch firm DUS had built the printer, titled Kamermaker XL, and were in the process of printing 1 to 20 scale parts of the building. Less than a year has passed, and now DUS is moving on to the big show, the actual 3D printing of the components for the first 3D printed house. Kamermaker XL, a 3.5 meter tall printer, made its way to Buke Slaughter Canal in Amsterdam on January 6, where it has already begun printing. The printer, more or less a large rep wrap housed in a shipping container, is using a type of plastic an 80% bio-based hot melt developed by German chemical company Henkel to print pieces that will assemble into a complete house. Because the site of the 3D print canal house will also act as space for research into architecture and additive construction, each room of the home will be dedicated to different research areas. The larger aim of the project is to meet the housing needs for the 7 billion people on the planet. DUS's Hans Vermulen seeks to address the substandard shelter for the world's poor that has developed in megacities across the globe. Though the firm doesn't ultimately wish to use plastics for the constructions of building, the architect points out that it's not that we think everyone should live in a plastic house, it's the materials that works at the moment. The printing of the home and its assembly construction by company Hedgemans is projected to take about three years, which gives other groups also racing to complete the first 3D printed building some time to enact a more efficient house printing process. But however this plays out, 3D printed houses are seemingly just around the corner. When we started with 3D printing, which was like years and years ago, but then on the small ones, we thought like, okay, we're architects, we have to build a big one uh, if you want to print a house. 3D printing, that's like speed and materials. Why we now print with plastic? It's not that we say that everyone should live in a plastic house. <laughs> it's the material which, which works at the moment with this technique. this whole country, you know, because it's underwater, less sea level, so everything is made here. And that's also uh, why we want to do it, you know, to actually see what this technique actually can mean for uh, housing uh, 7 billion people on this planet. At the moment, with this base of growth in the, in the mega cities. The current construction technique is not sufficient enough. Maybe that's why we also believe that 3D printing can actually uh, make a big difference in 5, 10, 20 years time.